Oh gosh. Okay. Our next guest, Solara Rose. I know you're here. I see you. I see you raising your hand. That was helpful. So Samaria, if you don't mind bringing our next guest onto our stage into the salon, and I will introduce Solara Rose to our audience. So everybody knows why I'm so excited to have her in the salon. Hello, Solara. Hi. Hi. How so, are you? I'm um, great. <laughs> we, we are like rolling in the salon. And yeah. can you feel like the frequency and the energy of what we've already created? So yes, great. I love it. I'm so excited to just dive right in. <laughs> I know. Let me introduce you to our audience so they know who you are. Okay. So Lara Rose is a liquid radiance in human form. I just, oh, I love that. I love that sentence in your bio. So there's one more thing I'm going to say because you guys, the whole entire bio is on the speaker's page. I love this part of your, of your bio. Divine identity, you, you, have, you have sentence before it, but I love this piece. Divine identity mastery within a brave, brand new world, all of their own making. Yeah. Yes. love that I read it and I'm like oh, oh it's just so expansive yeah <laughs> yes and that's where we create most powerfully when we're in that awareness of who and what we truly be mm -hmm. and we choose and decide and create from that space I mean the, the manifestations are exponential <laughs> how do we how do we be there how do we be there mm. Ah, well, for me and my experience, it is I saturate and immerse in the field of self. So it's who am I as infinite creation? So I don't so much reflect on who am I, who I think I am as Solara is an individuated being. I marvel in the space of who I am as infinite galactic creation, emerging, expressing, you know, creating all of this. And that allows the truest emanation of me as Solara to actually come through. So a lot of contemplation, cultivation, immersing in that field, asking those questions, who am I? What, how, how do I create? Mm -hmm. What are my capacities? What is my true potential? How do I stay connected to my power? And as I go into that deep self inquiry, all of those answers are revealed. And I just, I open a space to listen and to receive that intelligence. And so we all have the answers to all the questions and all the things mm -hmm. coded in every single cell of our body. Um, so lots of spaciousness and reflection on the nature of infinite creation. I love that. So you are, I think, third or fourth of the guests that brings up power in your conversation yes. and when we first started the salons the very first few the tagline was power purpose and prosperity there was a whole sentence but it was power purpose and prosperity and power was was one of the words that i really held on to for the longest time because i know that's where we get to be right now truly own our power yes yes i'm so thankful that you brought that up too because i feel like and i actually just mentioned this on beyond the ordinary with john like stepping forward, I'm going to be vocalizing a lot more about power because it's the cosmic currency that allows the currency of love to flow and reflect itself in all the other areas of our life. And the way we access that is I always see it as the star tetrahedron or us being open into the five pointed star where we are in open trust and awareness that all is the self, all is love. And we, we literally hold our bio circuitry open to receive that free flow of energy and power. It's free energy. Mm -hmm. And when we're allowing that to circulate and course through our system, it circulates everywhere else in our life. And there's no inhibition to that flow. You know, when we experience that, well, things are flowing and why aren't they flowing anymore? It's so much to do with our embodiment and our stance and our positionality and how much we allow ourselves to open into full connection with our I am presence. I love that. So with everything that you said, what I think still happens for a lot of people is they have this connotation of power as something that is power over, right? Uh, yeah. From the old paradigm, like they just haven't completely shifted. Even the awakened beings that I speak to, they still carry some of that understanding that they, that they just haven't crossed over into, no, it's actually a very different definition we're working with. 
Yes. Well, I mean, power is the animating force of life. It's prana, it's chi, it's kundalini, it's cosmic energy. It's, you know, all that allows us to live and thrive and come alive in this experience. Mm -hmm. And so power is sustenance (laughs) and it's power as power with and power as. So when we're extended into the self, we're in connection to all that we are and all that we be, which is pure love, (laughs) pure prosperity, pure abundance, pure life your creation. Mm -hmm. And it's power as that energy. So we move through life as creation awake, as paradise awake, and we really get to flourish then. So the power is really what it it animates and enlivens us. It's a requirement. (laughs) I love that. Such a permission to really like own that it's already, you know, as I'm talking to you, I am going to shift something for myself because I I've used a step into your power and it just doesn't doesn't feel right. And what's coming through you right now is the permission to say you allow the power to come through you, not step into it. Ah, I I would it's it's like to open into our mm. full power. So it's an expansion of our energetic fields where our electromagnetic grids connect in with the prime electromagnetic quantum grids of divine intelligence. And so it's really just about staying open and expanded. So not shutting down and contracting. Mm-hmm but moving with the breath, allowing ourselves to open, expand, and moving with that Mm -hmm. expansionary energy. Um, You know, so wait, wait, stepping into, and then the other one that you brought through was moving through. So we want to come into a space where it's as us. So it's from our, our, our locus of control or our nexus of internal control, but in that we're open into the fullness of all that we be. So we're directing our experience from the positionality of life as me, not in me, through me, because there's these subtle, nuanced spaces of separation in that still, like it's another power coming from somewhere else. But we're in the full recognition that we are that power. And we're moving through life as that power, as the emanation of the light, of the love, of the care, of the joy that we are. I love that. Oh, I hope you guys felt that because I literally have this sensation in my body, like a recognition of that in my body. So amazing. So we're speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs in the salon and we're speaking about making an impact while, while being divinely prosperous. What is the way that you move through your business, because you're doing great things in your business, serving humanity through your business while receiving prosperity. How do you move through, especially now as you step, as we step into this new world, right? What is, what is shifting? How do you be in contemplation when things, let's just be practical. How do you be in contemplation when things need to get done? (laughs) Well, this is where I embrace my worldview of adventure. And I just move with the flow. I'm like, okay, whatever's arising right now, it's an adventure. Okay. I have to create this next in my business. It's an adventure. Let's have fun. Let's play. Let's create. Let's, let's vivify the energy and make it like a party, a soiree, an extravaganza. You know, we're all here co-creating and playing and create, you know, designing a new world together. And it's this infinite game that's constantly unfolding itself. So we might as well have fun and have a blast, you know, every day. My view is that every day can be and feel exactly like a weekend, total freedom, total creative expression. I love it. (laughs) You know? And so it's the, the, to find a way to make it all fun because there are going to be things that we, um, I don't want to say that we have the honor of doing, <laughs> that we have the honor, truly, we have the honor because we have the capacity for it, mm-hmm. the honor to do and to gift and to share. So it's just, just it's mostly around shifting our frame mm-hmm. and our perspective around what we're doing and finding all the ways, light some candles, put on the music, you know, just have fun. <laughs> I love that, you know, because so often, um, so often it's easy for, for spiritual, for people who are spiritual, who are light beings to go into this, like, it's all easy. It's all just, you know, it's all just going to flow. But I love you, you, you. There is this realness in the way you are conveying this message. Some things we just get to do, even though let's be frank, we don't want to. Right. And we get yes. to, <laughs> right. And like, we get yes. to make it an adventure. I love that. that like, it's like, it feels like a permission. So all of you guys who are listening right now, make it an adventure. So one of the guests who was here before you, um, 
her name was Samantha and she gave us these th very practical tips on getting things done, like naming things, something that's really exciting. Like, for example, I have to redo my webinar. She said, well, if it, what if you rename it repainting your front door? Ah, right? <laughs> yeah. So it, it's like such a great, like what you just brought in is such a great and powerful um, confirmation of that. But coming from you, that I, I know you you work in very high frequency. In, you are a very enlightened being living in the world from, from fifth dimension, not a question. Yet here you are saying the same thing. Just make, just make it fun. Yes. <laughs> and, and also precision architecture. So you just write the list of the essentials. Like this is what, yeah. you know, this is what I have to do. This is mm -hmm. what I, you know, these are the, th and this is what I desire and all of that. And just getting very clear and lucid around what our priorities are and then going into it with that frame and moving through it. And you feel so great when you've completed the thing, but this is a huge thing in the spiritual community. We really have to learn this <laughs> and really master this. It's like, if we're birthing an ent enterprise or a legacy or a service into the world, it's like, it's much like having children. You don't just get to decide, well, I feel like being a parent today. It's, you know, I have the honor of caring for these beautiful, sacred beings. How can we make this fun? What can we do? You know, and so it's, it's we have to adapt <laughs> our inner landscape and our perception around what we're doing in order to effectively, um, you know, move through those actions in a way that feels inspired, where it doesn't feel like a push or a struggle, but it feels like we're leveraging our energy. Like, okay, mm -hmm. what are some ways we can work with this? Yeah. Yeah. And that to me is a shift that we get to be in for fifth dimension. Like it's great to speak about the galactic aspects of it, but even the way we get to be with things that we have a privilege of contributing. Solara, you and I, like we get to talk because I so agree with you. I'm like, it's a privilege to contribute. It's, it's, yes. it's something that we really raised our hand to say, I'll come this lifetime and do, yeah. right? Yeah, it's well, it's it's the, the greatest fulfillment that there is. And I mean, for me, it, it's the greatest satisfaction, like my whole world, my whole world is in devotion to service in every single moment. And with everything that I'm creating, I'm like, okay, just tuning into life intelligence, divine intelligence, how can I give to life? And it's this larger ecosystem that we're all a part of. And as we each, you know, contribute in the unique way that we are called to contribute, it feeds into and serves all the other ecosystems of life. And then it's also very wise to be aware of when we require replenishment and we require you know, mm -hmm. service from our creation. Mm -hmm. And so doing that dance where it's reciprocal and synergistic yes. and everyone is contributing and when we're also allowing ourselves to receive from the ecosystem of life and, and just being mm -hmm. cognizant of which, you know, where we are in that flow cycle Mm -hmm. in our own unique experience and staying attuned to our own rhythms yeah i love it and just for clarity receiving from the ecosystem one of the ways that we like to <laughs> receive is through money <laughs> yes it's you know it's a beautiful sacred it's a it's it's just a tool in its source energy it's such a happy innocent truly at its core it's a happy innocent pure vibrant solar in my experience very solar illuminated energy that allows us to have the choice freedom, the experience freedom, you know, the, the capacity to even nourish and fuel ourselves and take mm -hmm. exquisite care of ourselves so that we can shine our light and our creations into the world. It's such an ally to us. Yeah. Oh, I love the way you just said it. Just your words were so perfect to express that. We are cleansing the system of money because money itself is such a, like, I just love it. It's joyful. It's solar. It's, it's, it's it, the, ah, oh, I love it. And we get to embrace it as that, as light beings. I love that. Oh, so amazing. What are you working, <laughs> what are you working on right now? Like what's being birthed through you these days? Oh my goodness gracious. I actually just had that question come through this morning and I had to take a minute to synthesize everything because I'm so in the flow with it at this yeah. point in my journey, um, you know, to lean back and reflect on it. Um, <laughs> so let's see, I am deeply blessed and honored to have over 300 international private clients right now. We're birthing a new social community platform into the world of Sacred Haven where people can have all of the features of the normal, you know, the traditional social platforms, but in a highly curated sacred space and online temple. 
Um, I'm working with some high level tech organizations who are bringing free energy technologies into the world and clean water initiatives. Um, I have a, a seasonal mastermind that I facilitate with my beloved sister, Zoe Davenport, my brother, Elijah Ray and I, who is a magnificent, uh, just a weaver of divine nectar through sound is just a sonic magician. Mm -hmm. um, him and I are working on an album together to accompany my activations. Um, working with a media branding and publicity agency to optimize my brand presence and media presence mm -hmm. in the world, which is so much fun. It's so creative and multidimensional and, and vibrant and colorful and all the things. Um, and of course, I have my private immersive experiences. So Liquid Nirvana, the odyssey that people um, get to share with me. Mm -hmm. And there's just so much. <laughs> there's so much unfolding. Uh, so just being with, being with the fullness mm -hmm. of all of that. Yeah, I love it. I haven't asked anybody else that, that question, but it came through for you. And I was, and I was just in inquiry, like, why did it come for you, for, for me to ask you that question? And I think it's because I, I wanted, there's somebody here, at least one person who needs to hear that it's possible to be involved in so many, I mean, all of these projects have so many different facets, right? Because yes. spiritual entrepreneurs and creatives, which to me, like we're, we're creative spiritual entrepreneurs, that's the community, right? Yeah. We, we have so many things that we want to birth and so often it's it's so difficult or challenging to to like to know what to do when so i think me asking that question just gave people permission to say all of your beautiful gifts get to be expressed and sometimes all at the same time right yes yeah. and actually just even as you're sharing that i'm like having the i'm also in school it's a master's degree level of schooling and certification <laughs> with stephen kotler of flow research collective um also another organization i'm becoming a member of and then um, what was the other, there's a, oh, and of course, like speaking on summits and all of yeah. this. So yeah. also opening into the possibility or bringing awareness to the possibility that we have this massive capacity mm -hmm. to create and thrive in the spaces and places that are most meaningful and valuable and dear to our hearts mm -hmm. in the ways that we want to. And we get to really select what those are and just it's presence really is what it comes down to. Just be fully engaged and present mm -hmm. to each one of those creations as we're with them and to live a full on robust life. <laughs> Wow. That was so amazing. The capacity is that that's, that's the capacity. We have a tremendous capacity and we get to acknowledge it. And, you know, so often we, we say like, we hold ourselves small or hold ourselves back. Um, and I know so many people that just live a lot smaller than they actually could. So thank you for representing this tremendous capacity yet doing it with such grace. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm like, this is what we all get to because the more that we connect to our power, the more energy we have to direct and channel into these creations and these experiences. And so mm -hmm. we, we have the in, innate desire then, we're intrinsically compelled towards these beautiful creations and collaborations and experiences and adventures mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of life. And it's really just thriving. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. Thriving through adventure. So the guest right before you, Ulrika, was actually talking to us about aligning with the true self. And we dove deeper into like, what does your body need? What does you do? You need sleep more sleep than others. Maybe morning routine that early waking up is not for you. Maybe you're somebody who needs to sleep a little later. So I'm tying it in for our viewers that like, I just love how you you brought you you raised the frequency of it, right? That it, it it's about the power that you get to embody, and when when you do, you have capacity to create so much in the world. Yes, and it's all so fun. It can it can all be so fun. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the way nature is my primary fuel mm -hmm. source. So just everything organic and from the earth is just to keep it simple. And there's so much we can do with that gorgeous palette, <laughs> you know, and we yeah. can still enjoy and savor all the things that we love. And, but just to, to make it an art form to create, you know, from to nourish and fuel mm -hmm. our cells and our bodies and our minds and our hearts and our souls from the super abundance that nature organically supplies for us and provides. Um, and to have fun with that too, you know, food is an art form, nourishment mm -hmm. is an art form and water and rest. And of course, all those things that we, we all know <laughs> when we tune in and listen to the wisdom of our body, what she's calling for. So just staying in sync with that mm -hmm. and listening. And as we 
attuned to our bodies and listen to her or his intelligence yeah. and come into harmony, then we'll, you know, we'll thrive. Wow. So beautiful. Solara Rose, absolutely beautiful. Thank you for bringing that, what felt like a transmission wow. for our, yeah, for our amazing participants, for our amazing guests. So I know you have a gift for us and Samaria, when you can, can you drop the link in the chat and you guys know what to do? Go down, see where you see Solara's beautiful face. There is a golden button, claim your gift. What's behind the button? <laughs> a diamond DNA prosperity activation to just oh. really swirl up and conjure up and activate and, and integrate and anchor in all of these frequencies of universal prosperity and abundance and love and joy and happiness and success that are available to us. So when, when you sign up for that, there's going to be some other gifts in your, your welcome email. So <laughs> I love it. Surprises. Cause it's always an adventure, right? <laughs> yeah. And I love to give gifts. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for being a gift in the salon today, Solara Rose. It was such an honor and a gift to have you here in our conversation in our beautiful salon. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me. It's been a great honor. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Oh, so amazing. So just like that, you guys, oh, wasn't this just a juicy, juicy conversation? Isn't Solara Rose just amazing?